Hello everyone, this is Jacob or uh, Rus94 from the COD Impossible and doing another video. Um it's a first time I've actually like done two videos this quickly, which is quite strange. But um anyway, uh it's on Interchange, Interchange being one of my favourite maps. Um not the best but a favourite it's an open map really there's not much um, closed in it's more of the open feel and I like the open maps compared to the close contact maps just because that you can get a lot more campers on the like close closing maps like sea town um, but when you get into interchange it's more open and you have a wider view of what's happening and uh, that's just the sort of maps that I tend to prefer on uh, Call of Duty uh, I don't know if it's like the same for you but for me that's what I like to see I like the uh, longer view rather than close combat um, so this is with the CM again um, I've just like recorded my next batch, batch of videos so they should be um, P90's gameplays and also I'm gonna do a flawless video and then I'm gonna say how I do go flawless um, I've done like six games or something now going flawless so I'll show you how I go flawless and how I sort of get a nice high KD my KD is free at the moment well it's just below free but I'll round it up to free and um, I'll just show you how I do go flawless and then I'll also show a what I think is the best submachine gun class uh, that was a good sniper shot, at, sniper shot actually um, and then I sort of just like realised that I put my care package on the roof then and uh, Aaron was sort of laughing at me um, but um, that's a common mistake anyway uh, I've like started going back on Call of Duty now, I've been having like a little break, I've been on it quite well since the release and I went about a week or something, like five days and I hadn't played like Call of Duty and now I've sort of just like gone back to it which is good because I'm like really really like into it again and uh, looking to do well and I am like looking forward to doing commentaries and all that and I'm like come on let's do it do do and um, like me and Aaron have now like, we had like a little break on uploading and now we're sort of getting back to uploading um, so really it's a good time to be watching our videos and subscribing and also likes on the videos are really handy for us because when we get like a like on video that's when we know we've done like a good commentary so when you like a video of ours um, it's always good because then we know that we've done a good commentary so when we like it just stays the same for like loads of weeks in a row it doesn't really help us because then we don't know what uh, commentary like touch. Um, we like if you get like more formal commentaries or more informal commentaries, and we don't know which way to like uh, talk. And we won't like you help us which way you like prefer us to like do the commentaries. It helps us. Um, also another thing I've noticed now is that the assassins come in quite a big perk already. I hate ghost on black ops and now assassins start coming the new big perk. That is the one perk that annoys me. The only problem with this game is that assassin. It's the only fault I can pick with this game. Apart from that I think Modern Warfare 3 is a very 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 good game. Um, so, like I said the assassin is the only... Um, fault I can really pick with the game. There's a few maps that I, will, I think are a bit dodgy but anyway um, I think that at first I quite hated the maps to be honest but now I've started playing them a bit more and start to know my way around and you start to learn the respawn systems already um, you sort of like like the maps like at this point in the moment I know if I stay in this corner of the map I know that if they don't respawn to the left of me they're gonna f respawn um, well what is behind me now um, so it's quite easy to control up they're not 
behind me anymore so I know they're going to come to my left because there's a gap on my radar and by looking at the gap on like the radar I know that that's where they're going to go um, so Ike Interchange is one of the easier maps to know like the respawn systems on this new Call of Duty which is quite um, handy so uh, really I've like been quite busy now I've like talked a bit about Call of Duty so I'm going to like say uh, why I haven't been uploading but um, I promise now that me and Aaron are going to be like uploading like really really quickly um, so I hope you enjoy what videos you start bringing but um, I've like been very busy like the past week I would say week two weeks um, I've had like a lot of stuff I've had a few like I had a party and stuff like that and like uh, going out a bit and um, being like tired actually from like quite a few days because I like at college I do quite long days and actually tomorrow now um, well it'll be today because that's when I've uploaded the video um, but it's Monday night I'm doing this but it'll be Tuesday now when I've uploaded it and so today I've got a talk um, in English I've got to do like a talk on something but I, so I picked 911 just because I was going to do football but then I realised that football's not something everybody's interested in and when I talk about 9-11 it's happened in quite the majority lifetimes and well it has happened in the lifetime of everyone in my English class so everyone can like relate to it so that's why I started to pick that up like to talk about which is going to be interesting um, <laughs> uh, someone did a talk about Bin Laden um, in my English so that was <laughs> very interesting um, so I've just like had loads of busy stuff and uh, things to do but now I've got quite a lot of free time um, and obviously there's like the national strike on Wednesday um, I just threw it on the roof again the same care package um, but on Wednesday there's like the national strike in England where a lot of public sector workers are off on strike and um, in my opinion they shouldn't really be off on strike and they're all moaning about the pensions but um, to be honest, they're still on a decent pension anyway of these cuts, so that's going to be uh, interesting. But I've got the day of college, so I'm not complaining to be honest. Um, and then today, actually, I went like to Manchester with uh, quite a few of the um, lads from like my college, uh, which was pretty good. And I had a look around at some of the colleges, uh, universities, should I say? And that's quite interesting. But anyway. I'll try to talk about a bit more about what's been happening. So um, please like, comment, rate and subscribe and I'll promise to get some more videos up really, really soon. I'll see you all later.